Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. So guys, you've all heard in the news um, in the last 24 hours that uh, reports come out that about Telford, the grooming gangs, and probably the worst case in Britain. This is not actually frigging right because every city across the UK, this kind of thing is happening on an industrial scale. These are not just sexual grooming gangs. These are rape gangs, raping young people, young as 10, 11 year olds, and destroying their lives. Telford is not the only town or the city where it's happening. You just have to Google any town. Bradford, Leeds, Aylesbury, Oxford, Bristol, Newcastle, and you're getting the same, same formula, that lover boy formula, providing people with gifts, providing them with drink and drugs and then drugging them and then raping them on an industrial scale. Girls young as 11, 10 year olds, makes me sick to the core when I hear these things. But girls young as 10, 11, passed on to people, town to town, raped by five to 10 people a day. And you know what? The rape gangs went out and done it. But the government, the council, the police aided abetting, aided abetting them. By remaining silent on this issue, they were actually on the side of the perpetrators. And still to this date, nobody really wants to tackle the core of the problem. Everybody's too scared. Everybody's too PC, politically correct. Everybody wants to appease. In the last 40 years, it's appeasement. And appeasement in my books is cowardice. We have people in high positions who could do ch make changes overnight that would have an impact across the, uh, the UK, but they are too much of cowards. The, these people will say the right words because it's in the press now. And they'll be saying them for the next two, three days. And once it's out of the press, once the news is gone, out of mind, out of sight, out of mind, and they haven't done anything about it. Things that were put in place after the Rotherham ain't working. It ain't working because we're not tackling the real cause. We can't even say without being accused of racism or Islamophobia. We can't even say who these perpetrators are. But if we can't say who they are, how can we tackle these visible people, you know, these invisible people? We've got to make them visible so we can, we can tackle this problem. It's, it's, it's sickening and I would love to swear because there are words here that I would love to use, but which I won't, I won't belittle myself, but it hurts me. It hurts me for reasons, for the last 20 years, We've been saying, saying these things to police forces up and down the country. And all they've been saying is bring proof, bring proof, bring proof. And we now know they've been sitting on proofs. Rotherham was sitting on proof. Telford was sitting on proof. And it's extremely sickening in the case of Telford when these perpetrators, these gangs, these rape gangs, were given 20 year sentences and one of them's already out after five and he's probably, you know, sitting in the sun somewhere outside, having no remorse of what he's done. The system needs an over, overall change and it needs people who are abused to be making the decisions. It needs people who are abused where the decisions are made. These people, the abused people need to be sitting on their meetings, not just any kid young kid who's come out of university with a degree making decisions. We need to use the experience of all these abused people and people who deal with abuse on a daily basis to make the right decision for these kids. It's sickening. 
I don't want to say much more because my blood is boiling. Be aware, be prepared and stay safe. Wahigudjika Khalsa, Wahigudjiki Fatih.